All right, good morning, everyone. I'm super pumped for this video. Today, no beating around the bush here. We're getting right into it. I am installing some upper control arms on the rear of this very dirty Civic right here. So as you can see, it's kind of hard to tell, but I'm rocking some pretty heavy negative camber. I'm gonna fix that today. I just got new tires put on, as you saw in the last video. And so I just need to fix that so these tires don't get shredded like the last ones. Without further ado, let's start unboxing. All right. Now I just gotta figure out, one, how the hell these work, and two, how the hell to install them. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, so I just got the wheel off and I'm taking a look at this. So I have this bolt right here, and then I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see, but there's one. This is the upper control arm right here. So there's a bolt all the way back, way up there. There it is, you can see it a little bit right there. Anyway, I'm gonna get right to work and I will keep you guys updated. out uh, it was actually really easy as long as you have one of these guys a ratcheting wrench it makes your job super easy so yeah i got that out now i got now i'm gonna have to uh get this bushing disconnected from the knuckle here so i'm gonna work on that um probably just gonna take a pry bar honestly and go right in between there like that kind of pry i don't know i'll figure it out anyway i'll see you guys on the other side all right, so I got this bushing here pretty much out. It's just kind of sitting there. Now I gotta go all the way back there. Oh, I'm doing a shit job at recording, but I gotta go all the way to that bolt right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah. So that's gonna be a pain. I am definitely gonna probably take a little bit of time doing this, so <sighs> wish me luck. Okay guys, Um, first lesson. Never listen to people on the internet if they say a job is easy. <laughs> this was not easy. I fought with this piece for well over an hour, me and my dad, actually. And we finally got it out. Um, I ended up having to use a ratcheting wrench. I had to use this super long wrench to get to it. It's slightly offset, as you can see, to get to the uh, bolt. And then, I don't know where it went, but I had a ratcheting wrench as well. So, oh, excuse me. We finally got it out. Here it is, next to the nice Godspeed one, which this one feels heavier, actually, kind of surprising, but anyway, so I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it. I think I'm just going to leave it, like, I'm try to size it up how this one is, how the OEM one was, and then I'll just go get an alignment, so. All right, let's see if we can get this guy in the car. Probably not. <laughs> All right, after a quick little dinner break <laughs> and a lot of struggling, I finally freaking got the new arm in hopefully you guys oh you can see that good yeah so the new arm's in it's secure it's all tightened down i didn't adjust it yet i obviously need the wheel on it and i want to check the alignment myself a little bit so i'll show you guys how i do that in just a minute uh, i'm gonna tackle the other side which hopefully should be easier because it doesn't have this tube bullshit so we'll see i'm gonna throw this wheel back on and then hit the other side and hopefully with any luck i can get this done before the sun comes back out so we'll see all right, so I got the second side out. As you can see, I already installed the one on that side. It's good to go. This side is an absolute bitch. This driver's side is impossible. You have to have, you basically have to have a ratcheting 17 millimeter wrench. And even then, it is near impossible to get out. You have about that much room to get it. So no matter what you read online, no matter what you say, listen to me. When you are doing this, be prepared. This will take a lot longer than you expect. If you think it's going to take three hours, double that and then add another hour because it is ridiculous. And I'm only done with one side and I only have two of the control arms. I still got to put that bitch back in. <laughs> so it's been a long day, but we're almost there. I'm excited. Finally have it in the car. Let's, let's get to it. 
I'm very, very happy to say we're finally freaking done. That shit took way too long. And I'm tired, but we got it. As you can see, the fresh freaking upper control arm, fresh spring. Well, that spring's pretty crusty, but that thing looks sick as fuck back there. Anyway, that's all good. Everything's tightened. I'm going to throw the wheels on, and I don't feel like adjusting them at all. So I'm just going to throw them on and take it for an alignment tomorrow. And we'll see how bad it really is once I drop it. All right, she is officially done. And I didn't really test the alignment or anything. Let's see. So that's how that one looks. Uh, this one's definitely more straight than this one. Anyway, that's the point in a professional alignment. I'm going to go get a professional one probably tomorrow or the day after. Oh, I'm really tired. Anyway, I'm going to take this thing for a quick test drive, make sure the wheels don't fall off. I don't hear anything clunking. And then I'm going to park it until I get an alignment tomorrow. So let's go do that. It can't be one of my videos without a cold start. so cool i'm so happy man they look sick <laughs> all right let's go take it for a test drive once she warms up well remember in the last clip or the clip before when i threw those glasses yeah i'm an idiot whoops sorry glad oh my god these things got mangled <laughs> jesus man that kind of sucks i'm kind of upset about that actually all right here we go my little test drive. This will be my genuine first impressions. I have yet to drive. So we'll see. Wow, first things first, I've noticed it's a bit stiffer. I don't know how to describe it. It. Yeah, I really don't know how to describe it except stiffer. Yeah, even over the bumps, it feels just a touch stiffer. I kind of like it. It feels nice, actually. I don't hear any anything that's making me nervous yet. Man, it feels good. I don't know what it is, but some some just feels a little different. Like I said, though, it almost feels a little stiffer over these little bumps. It feels good. It almost feels like I have more control. Dude, I don't know what those control arms did, but it feels incredible on the road. I turn the wheel and it moves. It responds so much faster. And I that doesn't make any sense to me because I only did the rear control arms. So... I, I don't get it, but man, it feels good. I mean, I guess it could be placebo, but there's too much here for, I think, for it to be just placebo. It feels great. Yeah, so I've been driving around for about 10 minutes, and I've come to the conclusion that it feels more planted. That's what I'm going to call it. My car just feels more planted to the road. Uh, granted, I did just get new tires, but that's not exactly what I'm referring to. I'm referring to when I hit a bump or the rear end used to become unsettled it feels like it never leaves the ground anymore it feels like the tires are always in good contact with the road it feels really really good man it really does i'm 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 super happy with this i don't think i could be more happy with the results like i said i'll give you guys a full review of the of the control arms once i get to know them a little bit more give me a couple weeks and then i'll bring that full review for you guys but yeah, so far, it feels incredible, man. It feels so good. All right, you guys, we made it back from our little test drive, and now the big reveal, I haven't even looked at it yet. Let's see how bad it is now that it's settled a bit. How bad is our alignment here? This is still negative camber up the ass. It's not too bad. What about this side? Oh, this side's way straighter. Oh, man. So this side is about where I need my alignment to be. This side I think is probably pretty good. And this side over here, definitely rocking some negative camber still. All right, so I'm definitely gonna get it professionally aligned tomorrow. All right, so that was a long, long install. Uh, in total, I think it took me about six hours, five and a half, give or take, 
five and a half to six hours. Uh, it was mostly just me. My dad definitely came and helped uh, from time to time, but it was mostly just me alone. So keep that in mind if you're watching this video. It is going to be a long install and there's the two bolts in the very like toward the center of the car are the most difficult part of the whole entire install. If you can get those, you'll be good. And I also recommend starting with the driver's side because the driver's side is much, much harder. Once you get the driver's side done, it's a piece of cake. The passenger side is very easy compared to the driver's side. Yeah, so learn from me. Uh, before you do this, definitely get a 17 millimeter ratcheting wrench. If you have one with a flex head, get that. That would be even better. That's like almost required to do this job properly. So definitely keep that in mind if you're thinking about doing this. I'll bring you guys a full review of the Godspeed control arms when I actually, you know, get to know them and stuff. So I'll definitely bring bring that to you guys. And I'll probably bring you guys to the alignment shop either tomorrow or the day after whenever I get this thing aligned. Anyway, I'm going to head inside. I'm very tired. Probably eat some dinner. I don't know. Go to bed maybe. <laughs> No, but seriously, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I sure as hell enjoyed filming it. I love working on my car, and I like taking you guys with me. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out, and have a good rest of your day.